see my garage wet. I bust my water holes in the garage. That's why it's halfway there. Then I decided I ain't gonna go to the store and get no water holes. So I was about to fill up a five gallon tank with water and then flush out the rest of the radiator. So I moved the car back. YouTube, 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 what's poppin', man? You know that grinding stuff. And set up to my notification gang. Don't forget to get that bell ring, man. Hey, man. Don't forget to like that video. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Shout out to Jay Poe, man. He told me stop skipping over my intro, so I had to get back to y'all with the intro. But, yeah, today we're going to be changing the radiator fluid on my uh, box Chevy. As you can see, I never showed y'all this because I was embarrassed. I ain't going to lie. I was embarrassed of it. So, y'all know I cleaned out the actual little thing here. It looked pretty dirty in there. Had to flush it out, too. But... This the problem right here, y'all. Got the new battery, new terminals, new new alternator. New alternator. I told y'all I was going to upgrade the alternator. But yeah, check it out. It's super dirty inside. You probably can't tell. But if I shake the car a little bit, see that? It's like brown, man. Look at my look at my radiator cap. I can't be rolling around like that. So most likely, I'm going to flush it. I'm going to see what my... My thermostat look like, I'm going to take this hose off, these brand new hoses, brand new upper hose, brand new lower hose. I'm going to take that hose off, drain it, let it drain, hook up my water hose to it, flush it out. I pull my cart back a little bit so that way it can run, it can run out. And I also got my AC on because it's hot. But I, I pull my cart out the garage a little bit so I'm still in the shade. But I still can like, I can get this area wet a little bit and I can push that water out. But if I did it back here, then it wouldn't be uh. I wouldn't be able to get rid of it as good. So let me let me stop the talking, man, and go ahead and get to work. And I'm gonna put y'all up on the mount, and then we're gonna we're gonna get it in. Let's go. All right. So right here, I'm gonna be taking off the upper radiator hose. I fast forward it a little bit so that way we can uh, expedite the video. Dropped it in there. You know? Hose clamp fell. Had to pick that up. It's all good. We're still draining it. All right. So I got it out. See everything dripping. I'm going to have to do a little bit of cleaning up. I got to clean up for the wife get here. Know how that go. So check it out. I'm about to hook up my water hose to this uh, my upper housing here. Flush it out. It's going to flush out what's all in the engine. I'm going to flush it until it go clear. And I'll be good on that side. Then I got to flush my radiator until it's clear. Next. All right. I got to show you all the good and the bad, man. I made a horrible mistake. See my garage wet. I bust my water hose in the garage. That's why it's halfway there. Then I decided I ain't gonna go to the store and get no water hose. So I was about to fill up a five gallon tank with water and then flush out the rest of the radiator. So I moved the car back so I can get it out and uh, get it dry. But it is, it is coming out clear now. So I'm about to go get a water hose. I ain't gonna have to do it. I'm gonna get a water hose. I'm going to go ahead and flush the rest of the engine out. Flush uh, the rest of the radiator out. That radiator is pretty bad. If it if I can't get it uh, clear water pushed through it, then I'm going to just replace it. But it's not leaking or anything. It can keep the car cool, fine. So I didn't want to replace it if it didn't need to get replaced. You know, we're trying to preserve money. This is a budget bill. This ain't no... This ain't no uh, that's why I ain't go LS. You see, I get the 350 still in there. And that's another thing, man. Why people keep saying, people, everybody keeps saying, hey, go with a three. I mean, go with the LS, go with the LS, go with the LS. Man, I'm in the Navy, man. I can't afford no LS like that. I mean, I probably could. Nah, I probably could. But that's beside the point. But I, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to keep no, I don't need no LS, man. This is a cruiser. If I want an LS, I got that. That's LS enough for me right there. The good old cat. So, we're going to keep this thing at 350. I've been struggling, man. If you know where I can find a a, um, a compressor bracket, I've been asking everybody. Everybody get rid of the 350s and the 305 motors, and they get rid of the bracket. I ordered a bracket. It's the wrong one. I got another bracket over here. I got this off of El Camino. It's the wrong one because it was a V6. I can make it work, but I had to do a lot of modifications. I had to drill a lot of holes. And then it's the compressor I got. The other, uh, this the mount I got for the other one that came in. I was thinking about sending it back because it was a hundred bucks. 
But I already done scratched it all up, so I ain't even gonna ain't even gonna try it. I already know them. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to take nothing back like that, so I know they probably would. But yeah, man, let me run to the store. I'm gonna give me a water hose. I'm gonna take the cat out, move this back a little bit, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get a water hose, man. Not gonna be lazy. I'm gonna go and finish the job. But yeah. All right, y'all, we got action now. So now I'm to the point where I'm about to fill it back up. I got it as clean as I could. It's no, it's all clear. Liquid's coming out now. Pretty much what I did, I hooked up, um, I hooked up a hose out here, but to this, I drained this and then I drained it out of here. And then once I drained it out of here, I put the hose inside of this hose and it ran through here and it drained out that hose right there, so. I cleared that, and then once I cleared that, I came to this side, because this side had some sludge in it. So I came to this side, I sprayed it, and now, that, uh, now that's coming out clean. Did the same thing with this. Still a little dirty. It'll never be super clean, but I got as clean as I could. That's why people be like painting these and stuff, because it's hard to keep them clean with these old engines. But we're in the game now. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up. I'm gonna run it for a little minute, let it cycle through the engine fill the rest of it up and then we're good to go man so if you enjoyed that video i appreciate you first of all make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that like button like i said in the beginning of the video and follow me man we'll be having more videos dropping weekly i drop videos every sunday and i will start going live i'm gonna try to go live at least once a week the days will be um not stagnant but staggered because cer certain days i have things going on certain days i have duty and stuff like that so i can't go live every day on one day of the week but yeah man we out peace thank you for watching